So hello and welcome to the Lewis Nichols Show and I'm really excited to bring on my next guest today. Uh, it's the brilliant and hugely talented Ziggy Alberts. How are you? Very good, thank you, sir. Um, yeah, very stoked to be on the show. No, thank you so much. You know, it, it's great to get you on because what well, I love songwriters and I love when I can connect to lyrics and music. Um, and when I was sent your, your new album, it's just incredible the way that you're able to connect with us. Um, you know, as as listeners, and the lyrics are so meaningful. So I wanted to go back to kind of your songwriting roots, um, which is where your love and passion for songwriting came from. Was it something that you turned to to kind of help you in your life? Absolutely. I think that's where it, where it started for me anyway, was that it was kind of how you maybe got to say things you didn't know how to say otherwise. And it was definitely a very cathartic experience for sure um and it still is today it still is so much in what it might mean for people it might mean the same or something also pointing back at me so it is it is and has been a very cathartic experience personally and i think probably six years ago was the moment i knew i always liked connecting with people as far as i wrote songs not to be a hidden face or to kind of be shut off from people as a way to, to come together with people. Um, but and I'd say probably six years ago was the time that really, um, particularly with my live shows, so to speak, um, became my big purpose in music was like, how can, how can I try and foster some sense of togetherness? How can people feel, um, how can we feel together through music? And so that has been like a really, a big cornerstone of my whole career and kind of having that clear vision is undoubtedly what's um, it's just, it's just where I'm personally passionate as well. I'm, I, I like the humans. I like human beings. So, um, yeah. you know, a couple of us are rat bags, but for the most part, I do actually like human beings and, and love being in big rooms, playing with people and love all the crazy excuses they get, you know, to talk to strangers because of my music. So um, I'm very much power to the people and, and, and make music yeah i like to make music for the people and that's what's so exciting about this album finally being out you know 15 months in the making and the great thing is i mean the new album it's out now is searching for freedom um and again the lyrics they're so deep and meaningful to you and it kind of gives us an insight into you and some of your experiences so when you were putting this out there for everybody to listen to were you slightly nervous because of how personal it actually is you know to you It's a good question. For this one, I wasn't. It's really strange to say I actually, like the answer should be yes, but the answer is actually no, because I think that any nervousness had worn off to just like pure excitement that I was finally with people. And I've been so, so fortunate, particularly with like Laps Around the Sun, which saw me play 120 shows in 2019. It saw me tour the world. Um, I think I'm at 26, I've already done so much more than I ever dreamed of doing with music. And so my goals with music and with albums, for example, is not if it's an award-winning album, it's if it touches people, if it actually, yeah. if it's this, the whole goal, this, the whole point of this album, the biggest thing for me is like, can it be good for people? Like, can it be genuinely a good companion to people is my whole, was my whole goal with this album? Because I think that's, that's what is that's what we need more than ever particularly through these sort of times everyone's separated is that it's that companionship in music is what i've lent on as a listener and i'm just trying to give back in some way to you know to music as a whole for sure 
And the great thing is that you've done this independently as well. And I love that because I think that's what makes you an artist is the fact that you've had full control to put this together on your, your own album, uh, your own um, label as well, which is just incredible. But I've got to talk about the book, which um, thank you very much for getting sent <laughs> over to me. Um, I absolutely love this. This is completely different as well. When was the light bulb moment when you decided, do you know what, I'm going to put my poetry uh, in this because it's it's different. I've never actually interviewed an artist that's had a poetry book as well. That's awesome. How good's that? We're on the show and we're doing that. That's awesome. Um, oh, shout out to Common Folk Records to my ladies at Common Folk Records. I mean, it's not all ladies. It's like I think four girls and my dad and my um, my younger brother at the moment. So we're. <laughs> um, so I, I often say in like interviews and stuff, I'll be like, let me speak to the girls. Or let me say it's like such a habit because there's just so many of them on the label. Um, um, look, it's been a total trip. We started, I was always releasing music independently and I kind of got to that point where I was going to either sign the deals or not. And we just decided, me and my sister and my, um, my father decided we wanted to keep going independently, you know, and it's been man to be able to curate music like the very first single of the album together we I, I wrote it and recorded it and released it within a matter of three weeks it was during the big bushfires we had and so to have that artistic um what's the word i'm looking for to have the artistic oh, it's just lost on me but to have the ability to go and do that at your own free will and to have the support of a team yeah. is incredible and to publish the book through this time it has been a beautiful kind of addition and part of the album in this crazy way um and it wasn't like music i didn't actually have this big plan on being a musician i didn't have a big plan on being um a poet or or an author by any means um to say the least you know so it's been it's been a a total trip just like to do this to do this poetry i was working on it for the last couple of years alongside making music and it was kind of what I would do when I wasn't doing music. It was kind of like this almost a journal of sorts. And it just, the collection of work grew and the tiny bit of OCD in me, there's not a lot, but it's tiny little bit of OCD wanted to collect the work into chapters. And then um, it only really started coming to a reality towards the end of last year. And it's just been such a cool way to connect with people um, for the first time and again you know, for, like, literally for the first, some people have, I had my first YouTube comment from someone saying, I found your music because of the poetry. And I was like, whoa, how yeah. cool is that? You know, um, so it just, yeah, man, it's been, um, it, it, the poetry has been kind of a lot of reflection upon, it actually started, it started from being kind of too worn out from touring and I was taking time off and I stumbled into meditation. And then that's, I actually credit meditation for why, the poetry started and some of it's not poems some of it's just like short phrases or some of it's not poetic at all some of it's just like really uh plain reflection upon things that are happening around me but it was kind of the way i kept track of like the things that were important for me to remember for sure and what i loved about it is because i'll be completely honest with you i'm not someone that reads a lot of poetry and it's not something i've turned to but when i was reading this it had the ability it, there was some some things that were so simple that just makes you think it makes you kind of think, wow, actually, that's really powerful. And, and I just love the fact that I connected to it because, like you said, not all of it is poetry. Sometimes it's just a couple of words that has the ability to really make you think and, and start questioning stuff. And I, I love that, that you had the ability to do that. So I highly recommend this. We're going to, again, the link's in the description for people to check this out. Um, but, you know, you are a man of many talents. You're keeping very busy and you're doing a, li a live stream <laughs> this week, uh, a live show that people can can check out uh, all over the world. So tell us about that on Friday. So after a, um, after, yeah, like, look, we are busy and we're half mad for sure to be trying to put on a live stream as well with all this, with all this. A week after the album's release, we've decided that was the time to do a live stream. Um we had our shows cancelled um, last last year um, for for the UK and Europe. I was due to come play in London at the Roundhouse and a bunch of you know greater Britain, you know greater UK kind of shows, um, and all that kind of went out the window. So I have been very excited to try and bring some sort of live music back to everybody overseas that I couldn't last year, and so. The live stream is going to be the very first, liter literally, 
much to my joy and excitement and nervousness, literally the first time I play these songs live and there's going to be a small audience there. And, but the main purpose of it is to live stream it to the world. So if you want to tune in from the UK, we have that facility available. Please come along and um, get into a lounge room with your friends and make sure you've got some good speakers and, and sing and dance in your lounge room with us. Everybody, let's go. I don't know where you get the time from. I mean, normally when, when we do an interview, someone's maybe got a song that they're talking about or a, or a book, but you've got an album, a new song, a show, a book. Like the list goes on. <laughs> you keep yourself busy. Look, I'm, I am, what, what I'm not, I'm not your cliche surfer bum who plays music. I'm definitely this, um, I am a little more high twitch than that, which is why I, why I do the things I do alongside music. You know, it's, um, the stuff I'm busy with is good, you know, as far as look yeah. at what I get to do. I get to talk to, I get an excuse to talk to you halfway across the other side of the world. Like my life is, is very good. And I get to be a part of people's lives in a way that would just never be the case otherwise. So it is, um, it is a very lucky life I live indeed. And so I'm happy to be busy doing what I'm doing. Well, we're going to play a couple of tracks on the radio show um, as well from the new album, but I've got to say, I love uh, Runaway. Uh, one of my favourite tracks. It's so catchy. It's one of those that you just keep listening to. And it's fair to say that single catapulted you into many people's lives. It's where a lot of people discovered you. Did you ever anticipate that this single was going to be the success that it was? Not, not only did I not anticipate it, I literally released that song alongside a campaign because I had a, I had a campaign. I was, I, I, they asked for one of my songs. And I thought, let me give them my second best song. So I don't want to give them my best song <laughs> to this advertising kind of campaign that was on. It was a cool one. It was a surfing one. But I was like, I'll give them my second best song. I'll give them my best song. And it was just too funny. It's still funny years later. That that's the song that did truly catapult, <laughs> you know, catapult everything. And so that's just a lesson to be learned. You do not know what songs the people love. Um, also, fun fact, a fan messaged me one day and said, love discovering your song on Taylor Swift's playlist. So apparently, years ago, I actually owe it to T-Swift for having this, having run away on her personal playlist on Spotify or something ridiculous. So shout out Taylor, um, for if you did truly put my song on your personal playlist. That's incredible. Thank you. Yeah, and I never knew. I never knew. All these years, it's T-Swift that kind of got me out there. So shout out Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> well Ziggy honestly it's been an absolute pleasure and I can promise you I'll be turning to this book uh, many times because like I said it was just one of those you start reading and it just makes you think and something so simple has the ability to just change your thought process in a positive way I thought this was brilliant so uh, great work on everything and hopefully we can see you live uh, in the UK in the near future when restrictions are lifted but thanks for joining us today Likewise so honestly we we over here as a fully independent family run team we appreciate the support so much of like what you guys are doing. So truly thank you. And let's touch base again in a couple Definitely. months or something. Thank you very much. All right, good sir.